Hi there, I'm John from CNCRI.com and in today's video we're going to make this whole mess disappear. As you can see here right next to our awesome Austrian CNC laser with two tubes, CO2 and fiber, is a mess. Uh, the reason there's a mess is like if you had an apartment building and you told all the tenants to stay wherever you want, what happens is everybody stays where they want and you end up with a mess. Everybody stays where they want to be and move around. So that's essentially the problem I have here. Uh, when I first moved into this shop a little over a month ago, we had literally thousands of things to get done. Uh, projects. They're just piling up. So I had to get through all of that stuff uh, before the holidays. And that means when I set this thing up, it was just set it up now and go right to work. Now I have a little bit more time, not just because I have less projects, but because now I have time to reflect on the setup that I did uh, in the shop here at CNC ROI. So what I want to do is put this second shelf here, actually on the first shelf over there, as it should be. That shelf is specialized for projects that need to get done that day or that are finished or need to be shipped out. I have other shelving units for stuff that ships out normally. Uh, so easier it goes to the top to the bottom or there to somewhere else. This section here is a mess and everything here is little tools and little things that I use for the laser uh, to organize things. So I have a fire extinguisher that I hope I never have to use. Uh, when you're using a laser it's high energy and you have fires. That's why I have a powerful extraction system and a massive uh, massive air compressor at the corner there. So this will be the custom laser CNC unit that I'm going to build out of wood. I went to Home Depot and they had a discount on some wood that somebody else cut and just left at the door I guess. Uh, so I grabbed that stuff that's nine and a half mil thick and I also have some MDF. So I'm definitely not using the best material to create furniture with. And the reason for that is because I believe you can design something with crappy material when it comes to making something awesome with great material, it's going to look that much better because you know how to build something properly and actually overbuild it, which is what I prefer to do. So everything here will be organized and th in this video what you'll see is the design through to the cutting, through to the assembly and then we're going to stick it here and this whole section will totally be cleaned up and just look awesome, as it should be. So I hope you enjoy the video. Pretty modeling is an awesome tool to present to customers because to have a sketch on a piece of paper and actually seeing the 3D moving around being assembled is quite another thing. It really helps speed up things at our end for the design aspect because the customer might say, well I want this changed here and I want this changed there. It's easier to modify a 3D model than it is to modify a uh, glued together and assembled finished piece of, piece of furniture in this case. So what we do for most of our projects that are a little bit more complicated than the norm we do a 3D model of them, get that approved, do a 3D animation of it being assembled uh, for two reasons. One, to show the customer that yes, what we are proposing is actually buildable and two, for us to do a virtual test that yes, it is buildable. After that, the client, client you know, approves it and then we go right into production, which is what you'll see next. So we're going to go first with the cutting of it with the CNC laser. Again, we have an Austrian CNC laser. We're using 110 watt CO2 to cut through the plywood and the 6mm NDF. After that, I'll show you the assembly of it. It's pretty straightforward because once you've seen the 3D animation, you know exactly how to build it in real life. After that, we'll, we'll take a look at the uh, shop after all, everything is built and assembled.
customers often ask me, well, how much does this stuff cost? My answer to them almost all the time is, what is your budget? The budget will tell us what materials to use for the project. It will also tell us what size to make the project and how many we can do within a certain budget. So if they say, I need five of this, well, maybe at the budget they have, we can actually make ten. But instead of using a CNC laser, we'll use a CNC router. Uh, if you're making a lot of furniture, a CNC router is a better tool because it's faster uh, production-wise, but you also have a few more hiccups that you have to deal with. So there is no perfect machine for making furniture. There is the optimal machine to make furniture. So a CNC router is awesome for cutting. It, it blows away a CNC laser for you know, any day of the week. But if you want to do some engraving, definitely the laser is the way to go. So like for this, uh, for this CNC laser station that I'm building now, we engraved one edge of it and not the other edge. Uh, the edge itself uh, added a lot of production time and when you see the finished product, it doesn't really make a difference. So if you would have said, well, I want everything engraved on it, but you have everything enclosed and nobody sees it, there's no point in spending the money to do that. So that's why the budget is the most important thing. Based on the budget, we design accordingly. As you can see, now that everything's designed, built, and set up the way I wanted it to be set up, it's a dramatic difference. Everything's organized where it should be. Uh, the table itself weighs not very much, so it's very easy to move around. So I ended up not even needing the uh, caster wheels underneath. And it's, if anything ever breaks on it, I just cut out the piece again on the laser and replace it. So it's very easy to fix if it ever gets broken. Um, it's optimized exactly the way I need it to be. So all my film stuff is down here. I have my fire extinguisher here because I am working on a laser. I have, you know, my head, my ear in protection, all my different lenses and stuff. And I'm always cleaning stuff too. So I got all my uh, cleaning wipes there instead of having them on a shelf somewhere else in the shop. So very optimized space. If you're looking for a company to make you custom furniture, uh, give us a call or send us off an email with your specs and we'll do it with a laser, a router, or whatever other tool we have in the shop. I'll see you in the next video.